Hey guys, Luke here and welcome back to episode 12 of my James Hart Be A Pro series and uh, we're still at the Canterbury Bank Sound Bulldogs with the under 20s uh, fullback in. We've had a bit of a mixed season, this is going to be the second last proper episode, well this is going to be the actual last proper episode, the next episode we'll have just the one game as it's the, the last game of the season, but um, this episode we're going to be taking on the South Sydney Rabbitohs and we're taking on Newcastle Knights and the Rabbitohs. Uh, they're just uh, one spot better than us, so uh, we're in 15th spot at the moment, and uh, the Knights, they're in first spot, so uh, a bit of contrasting um, games. I'm not too confident in either one of them. For obvious reasons, if you've seen the whole series, you'll notice that our side is uh, absolute dog shit, and um, I'm not too... Uh, I'm not too sure that, you know, apart from myself, we can um, do much with this side. But uh, as you can see here, it doesn't start off uh, all that well. I mean, two minutes into the game, our first set of the of the game, and we're dropping on the ball. I mean, it's wet weather, and we're throwing it around hot potato in it, and um, just not the way you want to start a game. But the thing is, Rabbitohs are, you know, they're a pretty awful side on this on this game, according to the, the ladder. But uh, you wouldn't know it judging off this game, um, or... Maybe you would. That's just how much of a difference there is between 14th and 15th spot. But they go over and score their very first chance. Um, I don't think I could have got to them. Like, I'm pretty sure I was in, you know, decent um, positioning for a, for a fullback and just obviously didn't work out. Now, right here, really bad miss from us. I mean, we did enough that they had to sort of adjust to uh, us getting involved. But, um, yeah, pretty poor from us here. And, uh, once again, he just misreading uh, the judgment of, of the ball, the the bounce of the ball uh, happened. I can't remember if it was last episode or when it was, but you know we did something very similar. Thankfully, both times we've uh, ended up getting to the ball. Now, right here, uh, we end up, you know, not charging that kick. We put ourselves offside and have a habit of um, finding myself just a touch in front of the kicker. So uh, that's a little bit annoying. Uh, I will say there was a little clip just before where we did a little bit of a nice ball playing and. Um, I thought we did quite well. Now, just here, we did the perfect play here. Now, all you got to do is draw and pass, son, and you fucking don't do it, you imbecile. What the hell are you doing? Oh, my God. That was beyond frustrating, that. And then right here, they come up with a, not an intercept because we knocked it on, but, um, yeah, we we had to do all the, the cover-up of the defense because, uh, you know, our team sucks, obviously, and dropping the ball yet again. And, you know, I'll be very happy to be out of this side once this season's gone, hopefully. Uh, we'll have to wait and see exactly where we end up, but, um... Yeah, under 20s, this side, it's not something I desire to be playing next year, so uh, hopefully we can, you know, get out of it. We had a chance to strip there, I'm just not really exactly sure how, what's the best way to strip. Obviously, um, the circle button is it uh, is the best one, but um, yeah, I really wish we got that, that strip because they didn't end up scoring. Like, one of the most simplest tries I've ever seen. I mean, obviously, this game has some simple, simple tries, and I've got to say... You know, it kind of looked somewhat realistic. We had a player come flying out of the line for no reason. And then just here, I went to go for the low tackle because I realized my player had been missing way too many tackles uh, in, in this game. And, uh, yeah, I went for the low tackle. But our own player, our own uh, teammate, I should say, I mean, in all the games, it's probably been a handful of times where the teammate has actually got, got a hold of someone. And they did this time, and it backfired on us big time. I mean, if you want to get a hold of them, make sure you make the tackle. All right here, we got to intercept, and you know, you know, our side couldn't ma make it to the line. And then here, I blow an opportunity. You saw uh, the line sort of spread out; they were a bit spread out and uh, slid as well. So um, there was a perfect hole, and we didn't go for it. We decided we we're going to try and step our way through, and should just, you know, just went for it, just went low, and you know, die for the line. But we didn't do that. Now, nice little kick return here. Fortunately, our winger decides to, you know, not stay out in his wing, and. Um, can't get the ball. We do get fortunate enough that it uh, did result quite well for us here. And we do beat the first defender. We go for the offload and they drop it yet again. If he picks that up, he's, uh, you know, got the lot. Uh, he's got the goal line and uh, no one ahead of him. That's the only thing that's ahead of him was uh, the try line. So another blown, another blown try possibly. Now here we come up with, um, I'm not going to say a good tackle obviously because they got the offload. But we did what we needed to do. And, uh, you know, they've got a force offload, which all theirs seem to stick. But right here, we're going to find ourselves in perfect position. I'm going to drive this dude over the sideline here. Fifth tackle. Not that it um, mattered, but, yeah, he did go over the sideline. So, to show that, you know, when when we need to, we can come up with a good tackle. But, um, yeah, I think we did the right thing here. Obviously, you don't want to fall for dummies and that sort of stuff. So, you definitely took the man on ball. But uh, it is not going to work out too well for us uh, eventually, I wouldn't think. I mean, having to constantly defend your own line. And, uh, you know, this might be it right here. 
there was a forced drop out. You can see the ball's bouncing. We come over. They just run past here. And, uh, you know, you know our side. They can't defend. And we don't concede the try. And I do not hold myself responsible for that at all. I mean, um, I know the fullback sometimes stays back. But, I mean, I think the person doing a drop out maybe should have stuck back a little bit there. Because um, I was to the left. And we went for the tackle. We did the right thing. It was just uh, it was great pressure from myself, I think. Or from James Hart, I should say. And, you know, it was up for our teammate to come up with that, you know, the that defense, that tackle, and he got nowhere near it. And then right here, just a simple draw and pass. And, you know, if, if that's me on the receiving end of that ball, I mean, it's their fullback, Simone, or whatever his name is. Um, yeah, if, if that's James Hart on the receiving end of that, they just dive on us. But, um, yeah, it seems to be a bit different. The AI is a little bit weird on uh, this game. We come up with a pretty nice tackle there, one of the better tackles we've made um, this game. Driven um, right in the stomach there. A little bit disappointed we couldn't force an, uh, an error or something there. But he's one of our very few touches we had in attack that wasn't a kick return. And nice little step got per, uh, got past the first person, but that was it. And that was the end of the game. An absolute flogging by one of the worst sides in the comp. And it just shows just how crap our team is. So moving on to the second last game of the season, round 25. Travelling to Newcastle at the Hunter Stadium. And uh, I wasn't looking for... I was looking forward to this game in terms of getting the season over and done with. But I wasn't looking forward to taking on the first place side. Considering where we are. And I mean, we just got towered up by, you know, the 14th place side, so definitely wasn't expecting much from this. If we can uh, snag a try, that'd be nice, but um, in terms of winning the game, I'm almost defeated going into it. I know that's not the, you know, what you want going into these games, but I mean, what can you do? What can you do with my side? But it does um, start out, well, okay, I suppose, but we and we did do a, a pretty poor call. Uh, thankfully, we didn't force an offload, and I do have to say, I'm quite sick of all the well, all the rain. I swear it rains every single, well, at least uh, three quarters of the game are in rain, which is super annoying, especially for our side who can't hold the ball. Um, now, we ended up, not, I don't think we dropped the ball, but our team dropped the ball and gave them great field position. Actually, they got charged down. We eventually jumped on it, thankfully for our side that we got a second chance, but uh, that was a really, really nice offload by the Knights, and I can't even be mad at that try. That was... Uh, that was really nice. They're the sort of tries I don't mind conceding. I mean, it was like a perfect offload. But at the same time, like, someone, give us an offload. Get, come on, make a line break and give us an offload. Why does our team not make uh, line breaks? Super annoying. Come up with an important tackle there, and that's not where the uh, clip's going to end here. They target the right-hand side, and here's an offload. They pick it up off the floor in the rain. Something our team can't do is something I always talk about. But, um, yeah. Now, the ball's going up. Can they get the ball down? Yes, they do. Very, very simple stuff there, and just, it, uh, it actually, absolutely shits me this. Um, I mean, I, I'm, I'm not out of position or anything there, it's just the center or whoever it was needed to take that. At least make a better contest of it, tap it back, something, do something, don't just let them grab it, and uh, yeah, absolutely terrible. Now right here, um, we missed the first tackle, then we got suckered into the second tackle, and I mean, had we stayed up in the line, maybe we could have done something here, but we do eventually come up with a nice little tackle there, 31st minute. Moving on to the 32nd one, which was like sort of directly after it, maybe one more tackle in between. And we got suckered into the marker, which we couldn't pull out of, and re results in the Knights going and scoring a try. Now, that one we might have been out of position, but there was a player who was back there who should have caught it, um, but the tap back, it, it was there, and I don't know. It was a very frustrating game, this one. Um, but I will have to say here, nice little run. Um, not the best ones we ever had from the scrum, but we were like the first receiver, so. I don't really like being the first receiver. I'd rather be the second one, more space, and you know, take advantage of it. We've got a lot of speed um, for the under 20s players, and I think you know, we get on the outside of a player, we're gone. Now, uh, moving into the second half, obviously, been a few clips in the second half, but our first touch of the game, of the second half, I should say, not a really a good one, I have to say. We are put in a bit of a gap there, and it's just unfortunate we couldn't step around that player or you know, drive through him. Or anything, but uh, that's not where the play is going to end here. So we play the ball. Now they're going across the field, and there's a little bit of a gap here. And we were ready. We were ready for them to run to that gap, go and call for the ball straight out of the post, in my opinion. Um, but as you as you saw, yet another drop ball from our side. Um, seems to be seems to be what happens. I mean, we're playing on legendary difficulty, and you could swear that our side is actually like an amateur side. It is absolutely incredible. Maybe there's going to be a patch coming up, but I'm finding that everybody's um. AI for their beer pros, their side, their side is absolutely shit, while the other sides are, you know, normal, they're normal, legendary, veteran, whatever you want to play. Now right here, we have a really, really poor missed tackle, and so at this stage, we're sort of just thinking, man, nothing can go right, 22-0, can it be 24-0? 
No, I can't. They end up missing it. Brock Lamb, his first miss um, of the game. So that's a, that's a nice thing. They're not going to get a 100% a goal here. Oh, goal percentage, I should say. But we got absolutely smashed there. We got flattened just there and uh, went for the big hit. And uh, it's probably something I shouldn't be doing, but that's what happens when you get frustrated. I mean, I suppose it could be worse. We could be going for high tackles, but we're not doing that. I mean, we are still trying our hardest, but as you can see here, another line break. And that's where we come up with a huge hit, monster hit. Um, best hit we've had of our career, I'd have to say. And then yet again, we do another perfect pass there. And right up to his, the guy's chest, and he fumbles it. And oh my god. The rage that was coming in this game, it was, it was unbelievable, but um, nothing we can do about it now. We've just got to move on to the last game, which is against the Warriors, so uh, that should be an interesting game, and I'll be looking to uh, finish off the season strong. Hopefully, we can get a win. Probably not, though, but that's where the video is going to end. Hopefully, you have enjoyed it. If you can leave a like, be very much appreciated. Subscribe to my channel, also very much appreciated. Um, leave a comment. I'll definitely read through and you know get back to you and all that sort of stuff, and if you want to follow me on Twitter, MrLukeMyT is my Twitter handle. Face the page in the description below, and uh, I'll see you for the next video. Bye, guys.